I'm on some new shit. So, JG. So, JG. We're now in round three. We're now in round three. You've already created You've two already body bags out of your competition. Of your competition. The blood is thick. The blood is, the blood is long. The blood is, the blood is deep. The blood is deep. Your entries were well received. Your were well received. But now it's time for the sweet sixteen. For the sweet sixteen. You got into where Mizzou, Duke, and Michigan couldn't. And Michigan couldn't. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Bring it back to reality. Bring it back to reality. Back to reality. Ride with me for a minute. Ride with me for a minute. Ride with me for a minute. Ride with me. Man, are we already on week three? Sweet 16? Can you believe it? I can't. Man, I've already created two body bags. Let's make this number three, shall we? <laughs> Next competition, Avenge 2336. Links will be in the description. Good luck, man. But did you all think I was done with Gears, really? I know that's pretty much dead, but I like to come back and play it. Mine is getting scraped up by the first procedure, second procedure, third procedure. They don't even play Gears. I don't know how they can stand it, but I mean, that's dedication right there because last thing I heard, the Gears heads didn't like this game. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I guess some people stay with it. They're dedicated. So props to them. But shit, me, Big Sleep in Nashville, kind of had a tough time, man. I was getting scraped up, and I'm not good at this game, man. I'll tell you that. I'm not good. I don't play this game enough to be excellent. Probably need to raise my sensitivity up, man, because I can't turn on people. I was just dying some stupid deaths. Looking back at this, I'm like, dude, how'd I die from that? But anyways, you know, always come back to Gears when the new maps come out. Gotta see what's up. Even though this isn't one of the newest maps. It's alright, still want to show this game. But yeah, new maps, new characters, new camos. It's pretty good. I like these camos. I like them. I like them a lot. Yeah, enough of the game, man, because you know I don't talk about the game. I'm probably not going to have enough time to talk about this, but I wanted to talk about something very, very serious. And it's plaguing the world. It's plaguing your community. I can go so many different ways with this topic. But I seriously think that there is something in the water, something in the air. I can't call it. But there is a stupid disease that is plaguing the world. I don't know what's up with this new generation. But it seems like people are just lazy. And when you get lazy, you get stupid. You don't want to use your brain. And I do apologize. I will be using stupid a lot of times in this commentary. And I know that's not politically correct, but it's the truth. It's harsh. Yeah, people are stupid. They're real stupid. So stupid that it pisses me off every day. When I go to work, I deal with people... 20, 30, 40, 50, don't even know how to use a computer. And the ones that do, they can't even remember something as simple as a username and password. It's that serious. I have people that get paid more than me, and they don't even know how to use a computer. They don't know basic functions as copy and paste, going on a web page, not using Google. <laughs> like, if you know the web address, why are you going to Google? It's little things like that. You go on Twitter, you see people talking about the same stuff. You see people making derogatory comments just based off of something that they heard. I don't know if they're doing this on purpose or if they truly believe in this stuff. I was looking at uh, Chris Ballin's commentary the other day. and He was talking about some girl named 
ain't dark skinned or something saying that Trayvon deserved to get murdered and that this should be a lesson of black people like are you serious you really believe that that's stupid that's stupid to me you also see on the YouTube side people still complaining they will complain every single day about Call of Duty and I would think that this would be a simple thing to handle if you don't like the game if you find yourself complaining about it every day don't play it I don't want to hear about oh it cost sixty dollars you know there are hundreds of games to play I'm not trying to hear that excuse anymore you complain about the game you are a cotter you are a crackhead for Call of Duty what's up with that why do you complain about it every single day I don't get it you're stupid I know some people are going to get offended but it's the truth you go back on YouTube people are talking about the same stuff I mean it's, it's just like on Twitter people are talking about the exact same stuff I really think that technology has made us lazy made us so lazy to the point where it's hard for us to think for ourselves one of my co-workers brought up a, gr a great point it was excuse me a great point he said that if you lost your phone how many numbers can you remember I remember when I didn't even have a cell phone when it was just a house phone I can remember a lot of numbers now I thought about it and I honestly couldn't even remember one number I can barely remember my own that's sad isn't it but just think about it I bet you you will probably be the same way you will probably remember like your parents phone numbers maybe your girlfriend boyfriend but that's it it's crazy isn't it the way that the media is set up it's like they want America to be stupid they don't want anyone to be a free thinker when you are a free thinker you are automatically a rebel in society and it's sad man people are going to be zombies straight up zombies That's why I don't watch the news the news is so biased it's geared to make you think the way that they want you to think the way that the government wants you to think well, I say never, ever just take what someone says on the radio, what someone says on TV. Do your own research. Formulate your own opinion. Because if you don't, man, I feel that this world will be doomed. Anyone who doesn't think the way that the government wants you to think is automatically going to get exiled. And it's sad, man. But just think about this. I really want you to listen. You check JG the Don. I'm out.